Good day ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the Sage One Accounting webinar. The topic that will be handled in this webinar is the general ledger accounts. Just some formalities before we get started. Everyone is muted so that there are no interruptions and then I can be heard clearly. First and utmost, I would like to thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to attend today's webinar. My name is Tasneem and I will be taking you through. Accounts are created so that you can record information about expenses, incomes, liabilities or assets that you may have. You use general ledger accounts to analyze transactions into your bank and credit cards function as well as your journal entries. Under the accounts menu on your main menu bar, select add an account. In the following window, you have the option to add an account name. Your account name needs to be unique and you cannot have a duplicate account name. I would like to add a rent income account because that would would be appropriate in my business. Under your categories, this is extremely important. Each category contains a short description to easily identify what type of account you are busy creating. If you are creating a new account, in the category field, choose the appropriate financial category for the account. The categories include sales, cost of sales, other income, expenses, non-current assets, current assets, non-current liabilities, current liabilities, your owner's equity and income tax. Rent income to me would be considered other income. You have the option to activate a particular account or leave it as inactive by deselecting the checkbox, add an opening balance as of the appropriate date and you even have the option to add a description. Your activity tab will change with processing to this general ledger account and under your note function you have the option to add particular notes pertaining to the particular general ledger account. Once you have completed and are satisfied, you can click on save and new to add another general ledger account, alternatively save and the account will be saved. In this scenario, I already have rent income stored as a general ledger account, so the following error will pull through. If you wish to view the list of general ledger accounts under accounts, list, list of accounts, the following window will appear. From this window, given the option to add an account, import accounts, edit, delete a general ledger account if you haven't processed to it, and quick view the particular general ledger account. If you choose to quick view a particular account, the following window will appear. You also have the option to quick view your general ledger accounts under your quick view menu, accounts. With regards to account reporting groups, with account reporting groups, you will have all the benefits of subaccounts with the added benefits of flexibility. You are now able to group accounts with a similar nature together into a single reporting group, which will allow you to run reports at a summary or detailed level. Account reporting groups can be used for various reasons to provide clarity to your financial reporting. In my company, water and electricity is extremely important to be reported separately as I need to see the usage of water towards the creating of a particular item. I would then select water and electricity and group these accounts to go to my water and electricity. On saving it, I would then have created an account reporting group. You have the option to edit or delete from within this window. We have reached the end of the webinar and I hope a lot was taken in. Please feel free to join me on another future webinar.